So, uh, Fabian, you come from Germany, and how is it like? Uh, there are li like a few shops there for the comics where people can buy comics. And why did you started it? What was the idea behind it? Like taking the bus to the different public places and festival. I that's a two-part answer. Uh, on the one hand, I was looking for my own shop, but it was really hard to find a good place in Hamburg where I could afford and I was in a good area so that people could come and um, so I never found a place for a normal shop and then I was thinking about if I have a shop I have to be there every day in this one place and that felt like a little imprisonment for me and I always wanted to be mobile and go to other places and see the world, see other cities and then I one point I had the idea that I could make a mobile comic shop and put it in a big bus where people can, I drive somewhere, the people can go in and then they take the comics. And I also want to go and meet different people from the comic scene um, and take their comics with me to other places so I can, there's more exchange in right. ideas. So your idea is to also to promote the comic culture and it's, uh, I can see that you are not just uh, selling any like uh, mainstream superhero comics here? Yes, that's, I, I'm really interested in the comic uh, scene and then I think it's a beautiful art form that should be promoted and for many people comics is just either um, something you have to hide away because it's maybe um, they, they are ashamed of it or it's, it's a stupid art form which I don't think I think it's a beautiful way of communicating and telling stories and um, yeah that's what I want to do I want to show people that comics are a great art form can you take me inside the bus and show me what kind of comics you have there yes of course okay let's go live interview Oops. Right. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. So, for example, this year is uh, I call it the Zine Zone. That's little fan zines people made um, and published themselves. This is from a guy, Hurricane Ivan is his name. He's from Italy. I met him last year here in Switzerland. It's a really thin, short comics and it's very disturbing um, then I have for example I also always look for comics that work without words because then you can make up your own story this one is in 3d so you have the 3d glasses in here too so you can read it together with somebody else and it's a story about a guy uh, who goes scuba diving and comes into a super different world. It's very. I like to look at. I have it since the day I started the comic book, and I still like to look at it. I have some international comic um, magazines made. This is from Belgium, for example. This is from Slovenia. Um, this is from the UK. This is from an artist uh, also from Hamburg. So it's a big variety. This is from Russia, actually. And um, I try to have, of course, because I'm mainly in Germany, many comics are in German, but I'm also looking for comics in English or without words or French, so that it's an international program. So when do you take this bus to different part of the city? Do you also organize some activity around it? Um, I try to do so. It's Sometimes it's tough. To do an orga uh, to organize activities, um, I did once. I did a comic reading by Bursho Turka. She just published her first book last year in the Yaya Verlag, and um, she did a reading where she reads her story, put on some sound effects, and tells some background stories, which I really like. I want to do that more often. And I also did once. I did uh, a comic workshop where. I talk to people about how comics work and then we everybody uh, draws a panel and so you have panel by panel the the story is developing and in the end you have one one pager 
that's what I do so far. So what are the future plans? Future plans is um, I want to uh, change this to a more stable construction mm, and I go, the summer is coming in Germany and um, I want to go to some more festivals and I want to start to um, to have comic readings with different artists in Hamburg in a bar like once a month, every six weeks more or less. That's the future plan so far. Yes. Um, I got, I was, after I had the idea of the comic bus, I was looking for a bus that, where I can stand in or, and the, the customers can stand in because it's really hard to enjoy comics when you're crutched like this. So I found this after I, I was searching for about one year and a half and I found this one was sold in Hamburg um, for five and a half or four and a half thousand euros. Um, when I bought it, uh, it was owned by a carpenter who was using it to go either on vacations. So we have, for example, here is a gas bottle. Um, under this here we have a stove where you can cook. And um, I just made tea as well. And actually... And you used to have a freezer also somewhere? There was a freezer, a fridge here, but now I, I threw it away because it was broken. Now it's storage. And um, there's some more storage up here. It's gonna be a long video on YouTube. Where most of the comic books and some of the equipment is in here. Some more comic books. And um, actually, this what you see here, you can use to uh, to put my bed. Then I can sleep in the bus when I'm traveling, and I also use it sometimes. I, of course, uh, when I go to a festival, it's on the weekend, and then the next weekend there's another festival in the same area. I don't want to go back all the way to Hamburg, so I just spend the time in the area and sleep here and go do some camping and have my rest before I go working again. And um, yeah, I'm thinking about when I when I bought it almost everything was already fixed in here I was lucky that the former owner is a carpenter so he built these to fit perfectly and he built this to fit perfectly this used to be um, the bed for his small child of two years old so you, you can actually put it all up and hang it from there um, yeah and then so I didn't change so many things but I, I have some plans but I have to figure out how it works and what about this umbrella it's very yeah, interesting the, um, here the half umbrella. umbrella that was lucky as well because um, I was looking for something like this umbrella <coughs> on the internet and then somebody sold it a used umbrella and it was I saw it for the picture it's the perfect it matches the color of the bus most people think it's um, it, it's, it's part of the bus, but actually when you go in here, you can just take it out. Every time when I want to close the door, I have to take it out. Nice. But it's about, I don't know, it's one minute to just unfold it and then it's done. Great. Yeah. So, all the best for your future, Thank whatever you. Yeah. Nice ideas, plans you have. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. I'll Bye. take a look.